This video demonstrates advanced parameterization and replay scripting using ISOM CFD in the workbench environment. The project is a simple pipe junction. The goal is to streamline the design iteration process. Select all surfaces using the hotkey A. Start by setting the surface mesh size and computing a valid volume mesh. Saving your ISIM CFD work makes the component up to date in Workbench. When the project is parameterized, alternative mesh requirements can easily be scripted from within Workbench. Click the checkbox to create the parameter. Use a suitable name. Setting up geometry and mesh parameters simplifies the iterative design process and allows interdependence of part and mesh sizes. Click the checkbox to create the ISIM CFD parameter. Sometimes it is advantageous to create a user-defined input parameter. A parameter named OGRID radial count is created and initialized. This parameter will make it possible to copy node distributions to other edges using a script. The parameter value can be a constant or derived from an expression. A new input parameter, called ratio, is created for use in such an expression. The expression references other parameters by their ID to calculate the parameter value. Maximum size is dimensionless. Adding units to the denominator cancels the numerator units. If units are required, use square brackets. A replay script will be recorded and then used to automate the ISIM CFD blocking process at different design points. Any existing mesh will be replaced when updating the project. Initialize the 3D blocking. Position splits near the pipe geometry. The prescribed point method can tie the split position to geometry changes. Remove blocks to match remaining topology to the geometry. Associate blocking edges and vertices to geometry curves and surfaces. Use the O-grid split to improve blocking inside the curved surfaces. Select all visible blocks using the hotkey V. Select pipe end surfaces for the O-grid to pass through. Enable pre-mesh to see the expected hexa mesh. Increase node count on the O-grid radial edge for better resolution. Copy to all parallel edges. The mesh now has more consistent sizing. Stop recording the replay script and save your work. Make design changes. The derived parameters are immediately calculated. Generate the new geometry and update the mesh to observe the effect. The replay script will be run as part of the ISOM CFD update process. Observe the mesh changes. The initial height of the boundary layer is too small along the radial edges of the O-grid. The replay script can be edited to replace the fixed value with IC underscore WB2 underscore get underscore parameter space user underscore defined space O-grid radial count. The user-defined parameter allows node density to be changed via the parameter table, and the replay script ensures that the new value is copied to all parallel edges. Click Update to run the replay script and observe fewer O-grid rings. Be sure to save your work. 
See the ISIM CFD user's manual for a full description of Workbench integration, including replay scripting, using parameters, and how the data in your project affects the update sequence.